That's what I'm fucking talking about. That is the shit that I'm fucking talking about. The Dallas Cowboys didn't score one fucking touchdown tonight. Not one. Who was Dak? 25 for 44, 200, whatever the hell it was. Dak couldn't even throw the ball accurately. Missed his fucking receivers. I mean, guys, some guys were sometimes open. Threw the ball too high, threw the ball behind him, too much in front of him. Amari Cooper staying on one fucking leg, pretty much. Michael Gallup was pretty much going to be that deep threat in this damn game. Ezekiel Elliott only rushed for, what, 40-something yards on, what, 18? I don't even know what it was. We didn't even hit, Ezekiel Elliott didn't even hit, I don't even think he hit 50 yards rushing tonight at all. Where are you at? Where the fuck are you at? All you guys, where the fuck are you at? All you guys, all these asshole, these bum ass cowboy fans, where the fuck you at? Because I'm telling you right now, this was a fucking disgrace on your part tonight, buddy. You guys could have fucking won a division, could have been a sweet fucking ride to the playoffs. But no, but no. I don't even know where to start. I really don't because Wentz was what, 31 for 40, over 300, oh, with 319 yards, something like that. Miles Sanders, big fucking day. 100, I think he had 172 overall um, today. I think, or 150, whatever it was. He had, I think, 77 receiving, 72 uh, rushing, whatever it was. Miles Sanders, fucking beast. Boston Scott put his work in. You know, the offensive line, honestly, did a pretty good job. There was a few drives where we were over the 50-yard line, penalty. Third and one, couldn't run on third and one, couldn't convert on third and one, fourth and one, whatever you want to call it. We couldn't. Every time we got over the 50-yard line, false start, Jason Peters. A block in the back, Jason Peters. He's got to fix his shit. The one person I want to say is that Jake Elliott is fucking horrible. Horrible. I mean, third highest paid kicker in the league, and what do you get out of it? Nothing. I... They need to give him some competition. I don't know what it is, but my, in my idea, they're going to keep him and be like, oh, he just had a bad day or whatnot. Ever since, I think he only had one miss before his contract. After his fucking contract a few weeks ago, he literally has missed, what, four, I think three or four field goals. We would have been up another six points. There was one run play I didn't know what the hell was going on. It was third and one, we, and we just like had a Miles Sanders all the way in the back, and it just they caught on to us. No, everyone was scrunched up in the middle, whatever it was. But holy shit, Robert Davis caught it. Look at all these new guys. You, the Dallas Cowboys just got beat by a bunch of practice squad receivers. Bunch of practice squad fucking receivers, rookies, got beat by all of them. And Dak Prescott had every fucking starter besides the one or two that were literally, you know, offensive linemen or whatever the fuck. He had protection mostly the whole night. Few sacks on Dak Prescott tonight. Vinny Curry got his third sack of the year. Fletcher Cox was out of the game. Jalen Mills got out of the game. They came back, thank God. Fletcher Cox with that forced fumble. That was a crucial part of the game. Crucial! And then when Sidney Jones comes in on like late in the game, fourth quarter, and he's got to make that deflection on Michael Gallup in the end zone, was absolutely amazing. Now, I still think Sidney Jones is fucking trash, but, but... He comes in and make plays when he has to. That's all I care about. Secondary, Ronald Darby, that big catch from my, Michael Gallup uh, earlier in the game. Yeah, that kind of hurt. And obviously we all know that Jalen Mills, you know, Ronald Darby had trouble tracking the football. It's just how it is sometimes. Pressure wasn't there. It was there. Josh Wett had a sack. Josh Wett was tackling Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. We fucking took Zeke out of this fucking game. And when he actually got yards, it was a good, you know, 10-yard rush, you know, when he broke out a little bit. But, you know, Lane Johnson wasn't in the offensive lineup. So, Vita, on, on one, uh, you know, one series, Samalo pretty much, you know, didn't block for one play. And Carson Wentz got a screen off on that. And then fucking, you know, Vitae, 
next play, pretty much, just, you know, Demarcus Lawrence owned him. Or Robert Quinn, whatever the fuck it was. I don't even know which one it was lined up. I think it was Demarcus Lawrence. But, you know, Vitae had a big of it, you know, a little, little problem. But, you know, other than that, we played like we out. It's a fresh wide receiver crew. Greg fucking Ward. Greg Ward. Well, I don't even know what he had today. 70-something yards. Whatever it was. Whatever it was. Greg Ward stays on this fucking roster. Love Greg Ward. Robert Davis that we picked up. We, we signed and picked up. From the Redskins practice squad, a guy that was supposed to be do big things over in Washington. He came in and got one or two catches. J.J. Ortega Whiteside only had two catches, but they were pretty good catches. And for first downs. It's a fresh feeling. We don't even know what this team could do with more chemistry coming down the road. We don't know how much more chemistry this... There, there, it's, it's No Aguilar, no Jeffrey. I'm fucking fine with that, period. I'm fine with it. But when it comes down to these other guys, this fresh receiver crew, these fucking, you know, Boston Scott behind Miles Sanders, it's just exciting. And we fucking beat the Dallas Cowboys tonight. I didn't trash them this week. I didn't say any bullshit about them this week. You know why? Because I know we can lose this game very easily. They went up 10 points. The Eagles went up 10 points, and then they kind of disappeared for a while. But they were over the 50-yard line I don't know how many times could have scored more points, okay? Could have scored more points. We could have dropped, we could have dropped over 30 on this fucking team. Probably close to 40. Jake Elliott misses two field goals, six fucking points. Right there. Can't kick a 55, can't kick a 53. I don't get Jake Elliott, period. He was probably, probably gotten pissed off at the most. Carson Wentz. Jesus Christ, son, you know how to fucking get your fucking guys together. You have proved to me that you can lead this fucking team. You have proved to me that everybody wants to play with you. With you. That's all that matters. I'm... Oh. I said to myself, I was like, oh, please don't let Dallas come back. But Jesus Christ, man, I'm telling you, people were dropping like flies. J.L. Mills out, Fletcher Cox. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, here we go. I mean, just fucking insane. Just insane. Um, I, I, I can't complain about this game. I really can't. I really can't. And, you know, Sidney Jones comes in, makes play. I mean, Craven LeBlanc, you know, uh, not Craven LeBlanc, Avante Maddox had that, you know, deflection when it was a little dump-off pass uh, to Gallup or whoever it was, think Amari Cooper. I mean, they're all fed up. But Dak Prescott couldn't hit a fucking target all night. All night. Don't know if the shoulder was really bothering him that much. He didn't throw deep a lot, but he took his shots when he had to. But not even a fucking touchdown. Where the fuck are you? Where are you guys? And I know it's not over yet. We can still lose next week, but it's not over yet. The main thing is Dallas Cowboys need to fucking stay humble where the fuck they're at. Because... They came into Philly acting like, oh, we beat the Rams. We scored 40. We can get this easily. But no, that didn't fucking happen. For all your shit talking and making fun of Eagles fans and all this stupid fucking bullshit. Boys for life. Hazardous Eagle, a hazardous cowboy, whatever your fucking name is. Cowboys, New World Order, bunch of fucking fags. I was slowly getting on people's videos. Just see what the hell. Just see what they had to say. They didn't even give us a chance. No one gave us a fucking chance. Nobody gave us a fucking chance. Period. I don't give a shit. I don't care who the hell I call out. Those scumbags. Those. Well, not all of them are scumbags. Uh, Cowboy X Factor, great Cowboys fan. Boys for Life is a cool dude. Cowboys fan. Of course, we hate each other, but you know he's a good, cool dude anyway. But. There's none against any of these guys, but the shit that everybody was talking, you know, are rivals. So it is what it is. But we fucking showed up. The crowd was into it, and my fucking God. Jim Schwartz has to get credit for this game. He really does. Jim Schwartz gets a lot of credit. He prepared these guys well. Look, our corners are just how they are. That's just how it is. They're going to give up some. They're going to make plays. They're going to give up some. It's going to go back and forth regardless. But look at it. 
Look at this defensive line. Josh Sweat was getting in there. Fletcher Cox was disrupting. Brandon Graham was deflecting. Um, Anthony Rush, another practice squad D tackle that's been on our that was moved up to fucking active roster. Another guy. But this wide receiver core, I'm so excited about. Robert Davis, like another Alshon Jeffrey out there. Uh, Greg Ward is showing that he's elusive, got speed, can be that guy. Has a great run after the catch. Um, just, just amazing. Yards after the catch is amazing with Greg Ward. I've been so impressed with him. And then Zach Ertz gets hurt, hitting the ribs, cheap shot by Jeff Heath or whoever the fuck it was. And then all of a sudden, Dallas Goddard comes right in, gets 90 yards. 90 yards, scores a touchdown. When's his touchdown today? Miles Sanders scores the other touchdown. But Dallas Goddard, holy shit. Wentz throws the ball up. He uses that size. He uses everything he's got. And he catches the football. And holy shit. I love that. I'm losing my voice right now, as you can tell. Losing my voice. So I am about to go inside, do my stream with Philly Jim on my channel, okay? And we're going to enjoy this shit. Because now the Eagles know that they got it. We got this shit now. We have palmed this division in our fucking hand. Next week, New York Giants. It was actually the, it's not a 1 o'clock game. It got switched to a 425 game if you haven't read yet. So as of right now, this is ours to fucking take. We should have had this division weeks ago. Weeks ago. We've lost games by one catch, one possession, stupid fucking mistakes. Fresh receiver core, fresh running back core. Defense has stepped the hell up. We have got guys back. And we're going to go get this shit and hopefully take the fucking East. And that's what I want. I want to get into the fucking playoffs and I want to just get there. Get there first. That's all I care about right now. I'm not worried about who we're facing. I'm not worried about what we're going to do after in the playoffs. I'm worried. I just want to win next week. Get in the fucking playoffs. The only thing you can't do is shoot yourselves in the foot. So other than that, guys, that's about it. I will see you guys later. If you haven't subscribed to the channel... And I will see you guys later. Shea Squad, I love you guys. Great win. Fly or sly. Peace.